a wonderful ceremony that you presided over to Robin and Patrick. Well, I hate that they had to leave, but I'm thrilled they found their happy ending. Um, look, just a note here, but should the newly ordained Reverend Malcolm Scorpio be seen at a bar guzzling the hard stuff? Getting ordained was just for Robin. You know I'd do anything for her. But I'd say, oh, my colorful past doesn't really jive with being a man of the cloth. No. Tonight, I'm here to toast my brother. And even though your back isn't loving the rollaway bed, think about sticking around for a while. Here's hoping. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up too high. Oh, Robert, I'm not kidding. What do I have to say to convince you to stay? Admit it, Robert. Poor Charles is home for you. Maybe. As good as any place, I guess. But I, I've got too many responsibilities with the WSB. So make this your home between field assignments. It, it's not the same. Now, Robin is... No granddaughter. I miss Robin and Emma as much as you, but I can accept the fact that they needed a fresh start. Come on, you still got ties here. Me? Felicia, Maxie, Laura's back in town. Did you know about that? And of course, there's always Anna. <laughs> Come on. She's the last person who wants me around. Actually, you could not be more wrong. I say when people ask me if I have any kids, I tell them I have three daughters. I mean, I know... Maxie is biologically Frisco and Felicia's daughter, and Robin is your daughter with Anna. But what does daughter really mean? It's just a word. I raised those girls. <laughs> You're not trying to make me feel bad now, right? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Robert, the world needs heroes, right? People like you, Anna, Frisco who will drop everything at a moment's notice to race around the world to fight the bad guys. We need people like you. But I think heroes come in all shapes and sizes. When Maxie skinned her knee, I got to put the bandage on it. When a boy made Georgie feel bad, I held her hand until she stopped crying. And when Robin contracted HIV, I got to be the one. To tell her I love her, to hug her, and to tell her she's not going to be alone. So, you want me to stick around in Port Chuck as penance for being a deadbeat dad? Robert, you can really be dead sometimes. Yes, your daughter and granddaughter no longer live in Port Charles. But there are still people here who need you. Like me. Like Anna. Hey, are you talking about heroes? Anne is at the top of the heap. Most capable woman I ever married. You don't think heroes can have a bad day? That they occasionally need someone to lean on? Robert, Anna is struggling right now. And I don't care if you consider her your colleague or ex-wife or co-grandparent. She is in your life and she needs your help. If Carlos Rivera is alive, why is the DA passing him off as dead? And if the dead body he's so eager to cremate is Kyle Sloan's, how did he wind up with two bullets in his chest? DA's trying to cover something up. That's why Anna is so desperate to find Carlos. If she gets him, she can bust the DA. Who is this DA, anyway? Oh, your paths crossed years ago when he was working for the cartel. But he switched sides at the 11th hour, claiming he was being coerced. Paul Hornsby? That's who's making life difficult for Anna? I didn't even know he was back in town. Allegedly, he came back to be close to his son, Dylan. But then suddenly, the mayor appoints him DA, and he maneuvers Anna into taking a job as his special investigator. He wants to keep an eye on her. Yeah, so it would appear. So how much danger do you think she's in? Well, not a lot, as long as Hornsby stays in the dark about what she's doing. But Anna is not her best right now. That's why I'm worried. So, she needs my help. You know Anna, she's a proud woman. Oh, that'd be a no. She doesn't need my help. In fact, she's gonna resent my sticking my bit in. Well, then tell her you're staying around for me. 
because your little brother doesn't want you to go. Which, by the way, is true. Ready? Um, I think I'll stick around. Maybe I have one for the gutter. Give you a chance to have some privacy, you know. Both of you can run around with nothing on except soft music. Mm. That's Felicia's favorite look, how'd you know? I'm a spy, remember? Think about what I said. I will. Hey. What? Don't think I haven't noticed you're sticking me with the check. Well, if you stay in town, I'll get the next night out. Maybe. Well, you can cash me out. Are you leaving so soon? Ah, well, that's a commonly asked question. <laughs> yeah, it's nice having you here. Why don't you stick around? Why do I feel you didn't ask that out of nostalgia for the last of the Red Hot Lovers? Yeah, no. It's more on a professional level. I need someone with international connections. So what do you say? For all time's sake? Want to help an ex-wife out? All you have to do is ask. I'm all yours.